Hey guys, this is Not Lambers on Invoked 101. Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Cubic deck profile. This is coming out of the dual overload, uh, like right off the back of the dual overload support. So uh, this is actually a deck I kind of forgot I had. I kind of stuck it in the deck box and uh, kept it away. Up until about a few months ago, my buddy started to build Cubics and I was like, oh yeah, I have that deck. And then uh, they announced the new Cubic support and I wasn't super hyped about it because I hadn't played Cubics in a long time, but I went through some of the stuff I picked up out of Dual Overload and uh, found out I had two of each Cubic card, which I was like, hey, that's the amount I wanted. So here we go. Um, yeah, before we get into it, down in the description is links to our Patreon, our Teespring, our Cash App, our Kofi, and our Discord. So if you feel like checking out any of those links and supporting the channel, that's where to do it. You can also support us through the cross promotion we're doing with Send Calamity. Uh, you can check out his Instagram link on there. So if you feel like getting any one of these stickers or any of the other stickers he has on his site, he has plenty. Uh, you can check that out as well down in the description. And you can use my code INVOKED101, uh, all caps, to get 20% off. With that said, we're gonna get right into the main deck monsters and set the spells and traps off to the side. Uh, before we actually dig into this, uh, there is no extra deck. I did not put one together for this deck. I've never had an extra deck for Cubics. Uh, the only thing you need to really be playing is one copy of Cubic Trinity, uh, the Dark Cubic Lord, you need to play him. And then you need to, uh, some like rank 10s and rank fours and links. It, other than that, like there's really, nothing else that you need to be playing in here that's required other than the one copy of the fusion so play whatever you want um it's one of those kinds of decks of course starting us off is crimson nova the dark cubic lord this guy is literally like the reason cubics were actually like played for a little while uh this card allows you to special summon it by revealing three cubic cards with different names in your hand and then he's unaffected by monsters whose attack is whose original attack is 3000 or less and then he uh burns both players during the end phase for 3000 each and then um he can attack twice. Um, let me see if there's a restriction on that. Do -do -do. When this attacking card destroys a monster by battle, activate this effect, this card can make a second attack during the battle phase. So yeah, pretty cool uh, card, just big beefy guy, really, and that's all you need to know. He's the main boss monster of Cubics. Uh, next up is the, uh, the other uh, cubic normal summon, which is Vijam. Uh, Vijam really plays a key with a lot of the cubic um, cards because he is specifically named on a lot of them uh, just because of his interaction with some of the other ones. Uh, basically, the original playstyle for cubics was basically summon Vijam as many times as you can and pray. Uh, but yeah, so what Vijam does, his effect is cannot be destroyed by battle. At the end of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can place this card in your spell and trap zone face up as a continuous spell card. And if you do, place a cubic counter on that opponent's monster. Monsters with a cubic counter cannot attack, also negate their effects. This card is treated as a continuous spell card by this effect. During your main phase, you can special summon this card from your spell and trap zone. So he kind of becomes like a crystal beast, kind of like a union sort of thing, uh, which is neat. Uh, basically, the main reason... Uh, you play three is because there's a lot of times where you can play three or send three and then it gives you more effects. So that's the main reason we're playing it. Uh, after that, we're playing three of the ugliest card in the deck, which is Dooza. Uh, Dooza is unfortunately also the most useful card in the deck, so I need to get some new ones that aren't the uh, OG printing. Can you tell I put this deck away the second I got everything I needed for it? Um, yeah, so Dooza is really cool. Uh, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can send a cubic card from your deck to the graveyard, and which is the main reason we're playing him. He's a foolish for the whole archetype. And then uh, once per turn during either player's turn, if a monster was sent to your graveyard this turn, uh, while this card was face up on the field, you can make this card gain 200 attack for each monster with a different name in your graveyard until the end of the turn. Uh, that effect doesn't come up, come up too often, but it comes up often enough that uh, it will matter and that he does get bigger. So that's what's important about it. Uh, after that, we have the bad cubics, as uh, you kind of have to refer to them because they're not super great, uh, just because of their summoning conditions. So this is one uh, Endora Doom Volt, the Cubic Emperor. He's a level four zero zero. His effect is cannot be normal summon slash set. Must be special summoned from your hand by sending three cubic monsters you control to the graveyard. It cannot be special summoned other ways. If summoned this way, this card gains 2400 attack. If this card is special summoned from the hand, inflict 800 damage to your opponent. If this card in your possession is sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card by battle or card effect, you can target up to three cubic monsters in your graveyard, special summon them, then you can add one cubic card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So 
I finally understand why Mio, refer whenever she talks about walls of text, she refers to cubics, because holy crap, these are all mouthfuls. Um, basically, the long and short of it is tribute three Vijon, burn eight. If it dies, you get to search. Um, that's the long and short of it. And there's a t all th all the other cubics uh, kind of have this this thing going on with them, where it's like, oh. Uh, send cubics you control to the graveyard, special summon them, do a thing, if it dies, summon more v summon Vjoms from the graveyard. That's kind of what they all do, so, as a gist. Like, uh, the other one we have, the other big one we play is the other, this one is my personal favorite. I think Buster Gundel, the cub cubic behemoth, is honestly the best one, uh, out of the bad ones. Out of the bad ones, I think Buster Gundel is the best one. So his effect, is cannot be normal summon slash set, must be special summoned from your hand by sending three cubic monsters you control to the graveyard. Cannot be special summoned other ways. If summoned this way, this card gains 3,000 attack. This card can make a second attack and third attack during each battle phase. If this card in your possession is sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card, by battle or card effect, you can target up to three cubic monsters in your graveyard, special summon them, then you can add one cubic card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Um, I think three attacks with a 3,000 beater is much better than burn eight. Like, I don't know, I just feel like 3,003 attacks, it does the same thing when it dies. I I think Buster Gundel is still is the best one. Um, there was another one that I also thought was pretty good. There was a Blade Garuda who could attack twice. He's pretty good, he's actually over here because he was in my deck. This is the other one I think is kind of good. Uh, so after that we have uh, one Gyra Guile. Uh, the Cubic King. This is the level two. It says, cannot be normal summon slash set, must perf first be special summoned from your hand by trip by sending one Cubic Monster you control to the graveyard. If summoned this way, this card gains 800 attack. If this card is special summoned from the hand, inflict 800 damage to your opponent. At the end of the damage step of this card battled, you can target up to two Vijon, the Cubic Seed, in your graveyard. Uh, send this card to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon them. Then you can add uh, one Vulcan... Uh, Vulcan Draggy, the Cubic King, from your deck to your hand. So, uh, kind of what the gimmick of Cubics was, was uh, this one searches the other one, which is a Vulcan, who I think is over here. Yeah, Vulcan Dragny. And then Vulcan Dragny, when he does his effect, he summons three Vijoms from the graveyard and then searches Endora Doomvolt. Now, uh, Blade Garuda, he can search Buster Gundel, uh, but he requires you to send two. I believe there's another one. I think there's another one, because there's three fairies uh, and then I think there's a third beast one that's a level two as well, but I, I don't know which one. I don't know who it is um, off the top of my head because they all got kind of crazy names. Um, so the last monsters we're playing in the deck is three Summoner Monk. The reason we're playing this is because there's actually some spell cards that do want to go to the graveyard, um, specifically Cubic Karma. You can banish it from your graveyard to search a Cubic. So Summoner Monk, ditch a card, summon Duza, Duza, send a card. So that's, that's really what it is. And then you can use these two to make a thing. So there we go. That's all the monsters. That's their effects. They do a lot of things. They have walls of text. It's cubics. Like, what did you expect? That kind of rhymed. Um, so moving into the spells, uh, because they're kind of they're definitely divided into two sections. Uh, we have. We'll start with the new one, which is cubic dharma. Cubic dharma is honestly probably the best card that they got out of the set. Uh, I would consider running three just because it's so good. Uh, its first effect is you take no battle damage from attacks involving your cubic monsters. That is important because you're slamming Vijam into things. Um, then it says you can only use each of each of the following effects of cubic dharma once per turn uh, during your main phase. It says uh, you can send one cubic card from your hand to the graveyard, and if you do, draw a card. Nice. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target a cubic monster in your in your uh, graveyard, add it to your hand. Nice. So this is another card that does want to be in the graveyard. You can ditch this off a of summoner monk, but I'd rather activate it and use it for some consistency. Next up, we have one of the other uh, really good cubic cards. Like, cubic spell and trap support is insane. Like, real talk, their spells are actually, like, super good. Uh, cubic wave is pretty crazy. It says, target one cubic monster you control and one face-up monster your opponent controls. The attack of that monster you control becomes double its current attack, and if it does, the attack of that monster your, your opponent controls becomes half its current attack. You can banish this card and any number of cubic monsters from your graveyard, then target one face-up monster uh, then target face-up monsters your opponent controls equal to the number of those banished cubic monsters and place cubic counter on each of them. And then it says cubic monsters, cubic counters can't attack and negate their effects. So this card's insane. Uh, cutting in half, negating effects, 
uh, doubling attack specifically with with this guy gets pretty crazy, and this card gets even nuttier with the next card. So uh, we have another really ugly card in this stack, but it was the only third one I had. Uh, three cubic karma. Karma is also really good. Uh, it says when this card is activated, you can target one cubic monster you control except Vijam. Send any number of Vijam the cubic seed from your uh, hand and or deck to the graveyard. Then that monster gains 800 attack for each. Uh, even if this card leaves the field. Uh, so basically, uh, the max amount, so that'd be 8, 16, uh, 24, I believe, um, is the amount, yeah, 24. Yeah, so you can make a monster gain 2,400 attack, and then it says, do, 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 uh, during your opponent's turn, if cubic, if Vijam the Cubic Seed is special summoned by the effect of a cubic monster, send this card to the graveyard, and if you do, have your opponent's life points. That card, that's pretty insane, but it's not happening. It, it really isn't. Uh, I guess it could with Endora and um, Buster or even Gyra, but it's it's not, you're not doing it. The main reason we play this is for that little last line of text. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add a cubic monster from your deck to your hand. That's, out of all of that, the main reason you play this is for that little last line of text. Uh, and because we can banish it from our graveyard to search, we have another card that I apparently don't have matching rarities for. Uh, three Foolish Burial Goods gets this in the graveyard, uh, lets you search super quick. Goods is fantastic. I'm also playing one Dark Hole apparently. I didn't know I was playing Dark Hole in this deck, so... Uh, I guess it's a board wipe, even though uh, Cubics can actually beat over most things, so... Whatever. And then uh, three alert for draw. Uh, definitely uh, more consistency does not hurt uh, the deck. Uh, more consistency the better, especially with cubics. You definitely want to be seeing the stuff that you want to see. So so that's, uh, that's the spells. Moving into the traps. Again, starting off with the new ones. Because the new traps are much better than the old traps. Uh, I'm playing two cubic causality. Uh, this seems to be the better one a little bit. Uh, in my opinion, it says distribute a number of cubic counters on face-up monsters your opponent controls up to the number of cubic monsters you control. Monsters with cubic counters can't attack, also negate their effects. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one cubic monster you control. This turn, each time it destroys a monster by battle that has a cubic counter, inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original attack of the destroyed monster. You can only use each effect of causality once per turn. So this card is definitely pretty pretty nuts uh being able to do the uh the battle damage thing is amazing specifically with this guy and then even distributing cubic counters is still pretty good so next up we have cubic ascension which is uh, a new vijam support card this card is kind of interesting um i'm playing it at two right now just to see how i like it because it is kind of different um but anyway, its effect is when an opponent's monster clears an attack, special summon one Vijon the Cubic Seed from your deck, and if you do, change the attack target to it and perform damage calc. If your opponent's life points are at least 2,000 higher than yours, you can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one Vijon the Cubic Seed from your hand deck or graveyard, then if only your opponent controlled the monster when this effect was activated, you can special summon up to two more Vijon, uh, two more Vijon the Cubic Seed. Uh, you can only use this effect of cubic ascension once per turn and i believe uh by the ruling in the uh, text like i just believe like the ruling for that it's like oh, where would you summon the visions from i believe you summon them from hand deck or graveyard as well so uh pretty interesting i think it's kind of cool uh next up is the fusion trap card unification of the cubic lords uh this card is honestly not the best uh, we're not playing it to fusion summon, uh, but its first effect is fusion summon one cubic fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand field uh, as fusion materials. I kind of wish they, were, they came out with another cubic fusion that just said two cubic monsters instead of three crimson nova. That'd be really cool, give this card a second use, but you know, whatever. Uh, its other effect is uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, if a face up cubic monster is destroyed by battle or leaves the field, you can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one level four or lower cubic monster from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning condition. If you do, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. So basically what this means, send it to the graveyard with Dooza, link away Dooza, this card will trigger, summon another Dooza. Pretty easy right there. Or even summon Vijam, link Vijam away, activate this, summon Dooza. So. Uh, the last one I have is probably the, the worst card out of the whole cubic archetype, which is Cubic Rebirth. Um, it says, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster. Your opponent special summons in attack as many monsters as possible from their hand deck and or graveyard with the same name as that monster. Also, the attack of the targeted monster and those special summon become zero and place a cubic counter on each. 
monsters with cubic counter cannot attack, also negate their effects. Also, after that, if any cubic counters were placed by this effect, special summon one level four or lower cubic monster from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. So, there you go. That's pretty cool. Um, I like the fact that it can summon uh, Nova, because then you just get a swing at things for 3k, you get a win for free right there. Uh, but yeah, this one is very niche. Um, so this could really be whatever you want. And then the last two cards in the deck are two Solemn Strike. Uh, I felt that since this was a kind of a trap heavy deck, I figured Solemn Strike when I heard it. But yeah, that's um, it for the Cubic deck. I, I haven't had uh, a lot of time to play test this. Mostly just because like I kind of knew how I wanted to build Cubics, how I wanted to integrate these cards from the last time I had played Cubics, so. I kind of knew what I was getting into, and I'm not gonna lie, I liked Cubics back when they came out. They are one of those decks that's really fun and really janky, but you gotta know kind of what you want. I also think that um, if you're gonna play this deck, I think Called by the Grave is definitely a good add to this. I don't have a uh, spare Called by the Graves hanging out right now, so this is what I got going on. But with that said, I wanna thank you guys for watching, and real quick, before I let you guys go, down in the description, before, be sure to check out our Patreon, our Teespring, our Kofi, our Cash App, and our Discord if you feel like supporting us, and even uh, doing the uh, picking up some stickers from Send Calamity. Even that helps support the channel just a little bit. So if you like doing that, go check out those links. They're all down in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.